Hi Aries, welcome back. So let's tap into your energy. Let's see what's going on with you guys, Aries. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks, Aries. I am sending all that love and support back to you and your loved ones tenfold, okay? So let's tap in, Aries. Let's see what's happening with you all. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Aries and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopped from the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages to my Aries. And protect me as I channel the messages here for Aries. So let's see. Okay, King of Pentacles reverse, the Devil reverse, Page of Cups. Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles reverse, Five of Swords. So I'm getting you took your power back from a King of Pentacles in reverse, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, masculine could be. Okay. Yeah. Somebody here that's greedy and a cheater, dishonest. They're unreliable. You can't depend on them for shit. They're greedy as fuck. So let's see. What's this for Aries? Okay, so we have the hangman, Pisces energy. You could be on the cusp of Pisces, Aries. So maybe you're having a shift in perspective about something or you're trying to release something and let something go. Maybe a certain mindset or a person, place, or thing. Maybe you're having a realization about something here. The Queen of Swords. So you could be analyzing something, Aries, or um, you've gained wisdom from a situation. So it's helping you to grow and change the way that you think whatever wisdom that you gain from a situation or maybe you're saying something you're giving somebody advice or somebody's giving you advice and it's shifting your perspective or you're shifting their perspective let's see what else the five of pentacles i just heard somebody sees why you left their ass out in the cold <laughs> or something like that um maybe you're changing your mindset from a lack of consciousness to uh a more of a higher vibration here okay towards mercury some of you guys could be doing words of affirmations but you're trying to reframe your mind re um reconstruct how you view yourself or how you view certain people or how you view things or whatever okay hmm that's nice so maybe uh, this could also be you two setting clear boundaries and leaving somebody out on the cold with the five of pentacles. What else? Or whatever you're saying, got somebody else left out on the cold. One or the other. Yeah, the three of cups, cancer, mercury. So there could be people that want to be your friend or they wanna, they're want they celebrating you here because you're helping them change their perspective about something. Maybe you get, you're celebrated for helping people look at things differently, possibly. So this could be, yeah, with the world and the Seven of Pentacles. This could be recognition for what you're saying. What else? The Ten of Wands here. Sagittarius, Saturn. We got Seven of Swords in reverse. Aquarius, Moon, The Judgment, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Scorpio. So somebody here could be burdened by what you're saying or there, there's something that you're releasing. Maybe you're you're saying something that's helping you to release or it's like you're, you just feel more better with you releasing something here that you that's probably been on your mind for a while or you've been wanting to say it for a while or somebody just burdened or stressed out by something that you're saying but it's the truth though you're not being harsh or anything queen of swords upright you're just being real about something and somebody's burdened by it or whatever 
Yeah, now somebody, somebody, this seven of souls in reverse, someone could be running away from some sort of harsh judgment or about the fact that they've been two-faced and treating you like shit or something like that. What the fuck is this damn cat doing? I know y'all just heard that. Ace of Cuts reverse. So I feel like somebody is running. Seven of Swords in reverse, judgment reverse. This is a lack of... of the judgment reverse talks about a lack of self-awareness. And I was getting ready to say somebody consciousness is kicking in. So that's just, that's like contradicts itself. This is somebody here trying to get away from something that they can't hide from. Somebody's like running away from their own shadow or their own work that they need to do on themselves. Somebody's under judgment for something. What's the hangman? Like, okay, yeah, the five of wands in reverse and the eight of pentacles. So yeah, there's some sort of... You're removing yourself from some sort of drama or chaos or now people don't want to fight you anymore because they're shifting their perspective about somebody else. Yeah, Virgo energy, we got Leo, Saturn. So these people don't want to, there's people here, Aries, that don't want to fight you no more or want to argue with you no more. The fight ain't about you. It's about whoever this bitch is that's running away from their consequences or trying to get away from something. They're being talked about now. They're under bad judgment. This person is very unforgiving or they keep on repeating a karmic lesson. Somebody's there's people that's realizing that it's them that's the problem, not you. Is what I'm getting. Okay, somebody ruined their own reputation. With the eight of pentacles in reverse, somebody has done something repetitively over and over again and it's not working. Somebody here hasn't mastered something about themselves. They don't want to do the inner work or whatever. They lack focus or they don't want to put the hard work in for some shit. They're the reason why they're broke or something like that. Somebody is just... They can't take what the fuck they dish out either. If they're under some sort of harsh judgment or people around them don't want to be their friend no more or they're losing friends or they're being gossiped about, I feel like they can't take the heat. But it's like, bitch, somebody here did that shit to you. Now it's happening to them and they can't take it. It's like they're weird. <laughs> so now I feel like there's no more fighting or whatever this is. You're not fighting. What's the Queen of Swords? Yeah, the Fool in the reverse. Aquarius. So stupidity or somebody behaving negatively or um, there's a distraction. Somebody's easily distracted or that somebody just don't want to change their damn ways or somebody's acting like a damn fool. What's the Queen of Swords with the Fool reverse? Yeah, the hangman in reverse now. 12 12, y'all could be seeing. Yeah, so there's some sort of negative patterns and repeat with somebody. Somebody keeps on making foolish, dumb decisions and getting themselves into a whole bunch of mess because of the fact that they don't want to change their ways. Whoever this is that you're calling out, because I feel like you're that queen of swords right there. Yeah, what's the hangman in reverse? Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. What's the Hangman Reverse Ten of Pentacles? The Three of Cups in the Reverse. Virgo Mercury, that Cancer Mercury. I'm hearing something about high school and middle school. These could be people from your, from your uh, past here that were gossiping about you or whatever. But um, this could be a lack of a social group or a lack of friends here. I feel like your path has been really lonely, Aries, but it's because I feel like, shit. I mean, maybe it might get like that sometimes. And I feel like when you do feel like that, you just go out. Like for me, like, I don't know. Like maybe, I don't know if that's a bad trade or not, but I just like to go out and have little talks with people. And then I like to come back to my house where it's peace and quiet. I don't want nobody around me like that. <laughs> except for my man like that's just how i am though like i don't really be i don't like wanting to be around people too much like that i don't know but maybe that's just me or like if i because i do have friends i have like two good friends but i like to i like people 
that want to cuddle with me and stay home with me and stuff like it's either that or we're gonna go on a trip because there ain't really nothing to do out here like that i like to hug trees and go sit by the water I, you know and then i have that side of me where i want to do adventurous stuff but i have to be in the mood for that kind of stuff you feel what i'm saying so it's just a lot maybe that's the gemini in me child where i'm so indecisive and back and forth where i kind of like i'm very free-spirited i want to move how i want to move when i want to move so that could kind of conflict with a lot of shit, right but i really just like my my me time i don't like to being around too many people so i feel like with the three cups in reverse there could be somebody's like losing friends or this is you or you don't want no damn friends or something like that there could be a lot of gossip and shit going on or somebody's doing something in excess Somebody could be married, but they're cheating and you're disinterested in them. Somebody's in a whole marriage, but they're they're cheating and running around. I feel like the, the uh, Ten of Pentacles is your ancestor, your bloodline. Like some of you guys, in order for you to get to the Ten of Pentacles, you have not been around a lot of people. You're disinterested. You don't, you don't care to join in on gossip and dumb shit. You don't want to be friends with dumb assholes. You're good. <laughs> like you know what i mean excuse me so what's the three cups in reverse what's the problem somebody here's like gossiping or doing something when it comes down to your ten of pentacles this is you building wealth generational wealth here so maybe somebody here's trying to cause chaos at your job or this could be like workplace harassment because whatever this ten of pentacles is you're you're building upon it okay the emperor this could be like a business where you're talking about something like this could be a podcast where you're calling people out or you could be a reader like me or something like that there's a gift here that you have that's been passed down to you and there's people like talking shit about it or trying to like stop it from happening they're trying to distract you what's the fool in the, what's the uh three cups reverse yeah the half in reverse so this could be some sort of hate group a cult a coven of hoes that are gossiping and trying to like block you from building your ten of pentacles whatever you're doing here is a part of your generational wealth yeah the star and the damn wheel of fortune i just saw so some of you guys are up and coming stars or you're meant to be known or seen or something like that celebrated for something that you say or do yeah the nine of cups fame recognition and and look at this losing ass little bitch your doppelganger somebody here that's sitting up here lying and shit with they raggedy fucking ass so Okay, I feel like you live a very unconventional life too. You're very unique. You're very different. You don't want to be around a lot of big mouth hoes. And that's just what the fuck it is. <laughs> okay, this generation today is filled with that. They're filled with a bunch of envious losers that you would rather not uh, affiliate yourself with. Yeah, look, Page of Pentacles and the Star. Some of you guys are definitely doing something in the public eye. With divination, you could be a reader like me or you could uh, be a practitioner. Or you do something. You're a Reiki healer or something like that. You're a healer though very creative very inventive very much so a trendsetter like and in order for you to build this ten of pentacles you cannot i feel like this journey has probably been like really lonely and you're okay with it it's really not it's a difference between being alone and lonely i don't even feel like you're lonely i feel like you enjoy your company just <laughs> like you enjoy yourself like you really found peace within yourself and that's ultimately going to help you cultivate better relationships as well but i feel like you encounter a lot of envy and jealousy anyway because you're very different, you're very unique, and you have a different path that hoes that don't got shit going on with their life, they won't understand. And that's what the real is. So all somebody could do is sit back and gossip and lie and do all this weak ass shit. Okay. Somebody here trying to distract you from your purpose. What's the full reverse? Because they ain't got one. And if their purpose is to bring you down, I feel like, bitch, you lost already before you even started this weak ass battle and this weak ass war. You didn't already lost that. You had a temperance. So this is you alchemizing here or transmuting some sort of energy. Okay, with the temperance or you reconcile with somebody or now you're building your ten of pentacles and somebody's trying to distract you from it. <clears throat> Excuse me, you've already set clear boundaries. Yeah, this weak ass hoe trying to like um cause chaos and havoc in your environment because they're competing. So th this could be a, a bunch of bitches, a false... A spiritual charlatan or a false high priest or a false high priestess that's doing what you do somewhere trying to distract you or they're trying to do something i feel like bitch okay so with the temperance here yeah, there's balance and peace and harmony and that's how you're going to remain 
What's the five of pentacles? Or this is you as an earth angel. You're a healer. Yeah, a high priestess. You're a healer. Aries. Okay, what's the five of pentacles? The world. What's five of pentacles with the world? So I feel like the world is getting ready to see how somebody, how weak somebody is and how broke they are. <laughs> because they keep on running their fucking mouth or trying to like disturb your peace. Because they don't have any peace in their raggedy ass life. What's the five of pentacles with the world? Yeah, the king of wands in reverse, a man. A damn man. Leo energy. Just a, a punk. <laughs> like, just pathetic. This person is gossiping and shit like a bitch. And they got a group of bitches behind them doing it too. So this is somebody that stays online on the internet trying to compete where they don't fucking compare with their lazy fucking ass. Very reckless, very abusive, and just raggedy. So I feel like this, a cycle has closed out with this person. This is you celebrating or being celebrated online doing something. You're whole, you're complete, you're happy. You're in this new beginning and somebody feels left out or abandoned or they ass is sitting up here broke. What's the King of Wands reverse? And this is why they're bitter and mad. The lovers in the reverse. Yeah, just gossiping. Oh, man. Whoever this is, they don't want to take accountability for shit. Very much so lacking peace in their life. They don't want to take accountability for why y'all split up or or there's a disunion, there's disharmony, discord somewhere. Somebody has major trust issues. This is King of Wands reverse, love is reverse. Gemini energy, the hermit. So this is somebody here that watches you like a hawk, man. Could be a Virgo, doesn't have to be. I feel like this could be, if this is you right here with the hermit and the lovers in the reverse, you could be introspecting or doing some sort of shadow work here. And the introspection you're doing is helping you to release some sort of toxic connection with this bitch for sure. But maybe with others too that you had in your past. You're doing some sort of shadow work here. I feel like whatever you're doing for your work, somebody here just, just is envious of your whole life. <laughs> like they just... This person is just a two-faced clown, man. They just two-faced. All they do is watch you and monitor your relationships, monitor your job just to see what... Somebody's a stalker. They're a stalker and they need to be locked up. Like, this is like an excessive amount of stalking and talking and running their fucking mouth. <laughs> like, for real. What's the world? Yeah, eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, so somebody is stagnant. They're stuck. There's some sort of abandonment wounds coming up, abandonment issues here. Somebody is very insecure. What's the world with the Eight of Cups reverse? Pisces, Saturn. Yeah, the moon in the reverse. So some something is being revealed here online about how insecure and how much somebody needs to work on their abandonment issues. I feel like you're trying to show this person something about themselves, but instead of them taking the criticism the right way, they're taking it the wrong way. It's because they're in their feelings. That's what happens when you're jealous and you're hateful and you're envious. That's what happens. Like you, you, you get all upset and, and can't nobody tell you shit about yourself. Like this person is just, they mad because what you have an emperor in your life. They're doing magic on your love life. 10, 10 on the clock. Somebody here is mad at the wrong shit. And this is why they ass is stuck wherever they at in their life. They're worried about you being with somebody else. But it's like, bitch, move the fuck on. Because you don't need to be in a relationship right now. If that's what somebody's competing with you about, they need to get over it. It's like real quick. Because it's like, bitch, you're going nowhere fast dealing with these hoes. And you're a hoe yourself. You need to get your life together. That's real shit. I'm sick of just seeing this this dumbass person with this these fucked up feelings and shit like that. It's like, bitch, you're a grown ass man or woman. Why the fuck are you sitting up here in the reverse? Karmic is a motherfucker, and like really karmic, competing, lying, gaslighting, being abusive. Like that's really really fucked up. And I don't have nothing nice to say about it. And and shit, this could be me and the Queen of Swords. Like I mean, what I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not being a bitch about it or nothing. But I'm definitely gonna tell you what the real raw truth is. 
And you can take that shit how the fuck you want to take it. But I'm definitely tired of seeing this dumb shit. Somebody here know that they did wrong and they doing the shit anyway. That's why I'm not being nice about a motherfucking thing. Maybe, shit, I feel like I'm being too damn nice. And somebody doing all this weak ass magic because they are upset about a breakup or they trying to do breakup spells or whatever this is. It's just like, bitch, get over it. Somebody is complaining about shit that they've been, they, they still stuck in the same spot they was in years before. It's like, what the fuck are you doing different today, bitch, to change your life? Nothing. You're still doing the same thing. It's like delusional. You got to be delusional. What's the three of cups? Yeah, the five of swords in reverse. So... Somebody could feel embarrassed or ashamed or they feel like... <laughs> They feel um, humiliated. This could be public scrutiny. What's the Three of Cups with the Five of Swords reverse? Uh, yeah, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And the Magician reverse. So somebody here could be being revenge for trying to retaliate. Or that's what they did. So, yeah, there, this is a trickster. Somebody here that's conniving, a manipulator, doing weak-ass fucking magic, just manipulating a bunch of shit. Whether they're doing magic or not, they know what the fuck they're doing. And that's why I be cursing you hoes out every chance I get. Because, like, what the fuck am I supposed to say about that? Oh, well, they're going through something. Bitch, we all go through shit. What the fuck is, what does that have to do with you being a fucking loser? Nothing. Whatsoever. So, yeah, this is just like unrequited love. So, somebody's doing magic on your love life so that way people can, um, so that way you wouldn't have support or you wouldn't manifest good friendships or partnerships or whatever. Somebody is lying and saying, oh, well, we broke up because of something that they did or whatever. Somebody's just manipulating the whole thing, manipulating everything. Like, they just, I don't know, man. It's just like pathetic. What's the, what's the Five of Souls reverse? This could be like a cancel celebration, doom and gloom. <laughs> What's, <the laughs> sword? What's five of swords reverse? The judgment. Yeah. So I feel like with the five of swords reverse, I feel like people are, are having some sort of clear understanding about something now. Because this is you. I feel like this is you being vindicated from something. There's going to be some sort of peace that's going to come into your life. Because this drama or this mess... It's just pathetic. There's going to be a peaceful resolution to your issues. Some of you guys are getting ready to have somebody arrested. You can ready to take their dumb ass to court for running their fucking mouth or trying to defame you or, or something like that. Defamation of character, possibly. I just heard for somebody. Yeah, the Knight of Souls in the reverse. What's the Five of Souls reverse with the judgment? I feel like, yeah, this is like apportioning blame here. So, yeah, they need to take accountability for their part that they played in something and they, they've been trying to get away from it. Bitch, you're going to take accountability to fucking day. <laughs> What's the five of swords reverse with the judgment? Okay, nine of wands reverse and the six of swords in the reverse. So, yeah, this could be, uh, this is you being the last one standing here and you're standing your ground in the situation with the, with the six of swords in the reverse. You're calling judgment on something and it's clearing up something here. Somebody's embarrassed about it. But it's like, bitch, you need to fucking heal and stop getting on people's fucking nerves because you're upset about a breakup. You bitches are too old to not understand how to take rejection. That shit is ridiculous. You go around trying to kill yourself, trying to make people feel bad. Like, oh, I'm going to kill myself if, you know what I'm saying, if uh, you leave me or whatever the fuck these motherfuckers be doing today with that crazy ass shit or trying to like kill your ex because you you don't want to be rejected or you like that's the kind of shit that people do it's like bitch move on with your life like that shit is so fucking lame to me it's very lame and i don't feel bad at all about it i, I just feel like because somebody try to do that to me my ex i'm gonna sit over here oh try to act crazy it's like well if you want to kill yourself that bad then do it <laughs> like because you're not gonna make me feel bad for wanting to leave out of this fucking abusive ass manipulating ass relationship that you're trying to keep me in i don't want to be in this shithole so if that's what you want to do then <laughs> then they look at me like i'm crazy like i don't what i'm supposed to be like bitch i'm not that same girl if you want to do that to yourself then do that you're gonna go straight to hell <laughs> like i mean 
<laughs> what? what, what, what? Um, people might say that's harsh, but that's the truth, though. You're not going to make me feel guilty or bad. You're not going to haunt me or make me feel upset because I don't want to be with you. And because you got issues that you need to heal from. Fuck that. Absolutely the fuck not. So anyways. I feel like this this person like. Trouble could be headed this person's way. Or like this is like out of the frying pan into the fire type shit. And this person. They don't have no fight left in them. Like they cannot stand the heat. But they started this shit though. Now they're embarrassed. It's like bitch you are so weak. You're a weak ass pussy ass clown. That should have kept their mouth shut. And just moved on with their life. But instead you wanted to cause some drama. Somebody's a weak ass hoe. They're weak as hell. Very. What's the ace of cups in the reverse? And they know they are. Got the nerve to be sitting up here mad and shit. Yeah, something is backfiring. Nobody wants to be this bitch's friend. Or whatever this is with their emotions is coming up to the surface so they can fucking heal it. So somebody here missed an opportunity or this is like negativity. Whatever's being said out somebody's mouth is going back on their ass. And it's about this fucking breakup or relationship or whatever. Yeah, the death card. What's this magician reverse? Somebody lies and shit is coming to bite their ass in the ass. Because they should have shut the fuck up. Yeah, so we got the king of pentacles. The king of cups in reverse. And the damn two of cups in reverse. Yeah, this person. <laughs> what a loser. I feel like if they've been doing breakup spells or, or magic or something like that, I feel like that shit's going back on them and their relationships. Everything is coming out to the surface. Now somebody feels dumb as fuck. They feel stupid. Excuse me, this gaslighting ass king of cups in the reverse. They could be going through a breakup. Or they're still harboring feelings about y'all breakup. This person could have said that you needed them for some shit. I feel like this bitch ain't got shit that, they, that you fucking need. <laughs> like, be for real. But for some of you, um, they could be married. This person could be married here. And they're still harboring pain or, or something from y'all's breakup. This person is very ruthless too. When they don't get their way, they gonna keep trying to get their way in something. Could be a Scorpio. Somebody here is emotionally unavailable. And they could be upset or sad if you're with the king. Maybe you're with this king of pentacles. Somebody here that's loyal and dependable, reliable. You can trust them. Things like that. They make you feel safe. So, what's the king of pentacles? Or somebody here did something for status or fame or recognition. Or they wanted to be seen as a boss, a leader. It's like, bitch, you don't even... You are not even in your right mind. Please be for real. What's the king of pentacles? Or they're doing some sort of magic. Because the king of cups... Is my spirit guide card. When it's in the reverse, it's going to be a dark spirit. The magician reverse and the king of cups reverse. This person is trying to haunt you in your relationships and shit like that. What's king of pentacles? They could be with somebody too that they're incompatible with. Or that they're sitting up there abusing. And still just paying attention to you. It's because they, they use these relationships as a cover up. Yeah, look. Queen of pentacles. What's king of pentacles? <sighs> the Ace of Swords reverse. What's King of Pentacles Ace of Swords reverse? The Three of Wands reverse. So yeah, there would be no breakthrough. Something didn't work. And somebody's options are restricted or they're in an unhealthy environment with the Ace of Swords. Or they're trying to make your environment unhealthy. They want you to be arguing and fighting and shit with somebody. Or they're trying to come with some mess. But I feel like they're restricted. But nonetheless, though, the Ace of Swords in reverse is definitely um, a lack of clarity or somebody just got animosity and hostility towards you because they feel like, I guess they feel like you were supposed to wait for them or you were supposed to grow with them or something like that. But bitch, you're not growing. Somebody is not getting clear information either. Something is false. There's a lack of clarity here. Somebody's trying to get foresight or, in, or insight into something and they're getting false. They're not getting real information. They can't see something. Mm -hmm. Good. Or somebody's restricted from leaving because I feel like this bitch is trying to run away from their judgment. They're trying to run away from something 
they're, they're embarrassed or they don't want people to see them a certain way. <sighs> Moving on. What's the Ten of Wands? The Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> What's the Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles? The Queen of Swords Reverse. So here's a big mouth asshole. Or this could be you, maybe where you've over criticized yourself or judged yourself for something. Like I was just saying, you don't need to take the blame for somebody else's dumb shit. I feel like you're freeing yourself. But let's see, who's this Queen of Swords in reverse? What the fuck is this bitch doing for her big mouth ass? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So, okay, what's Queen of Swords in reverse? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of you, this is a failed sacrifice here. You're protected. Whoever this big mouth loser is, they're not getting something. They missed an opportunity. I feel like they were trying to get something from you anyways. They were doing magic to try to, um, they were trying to use other people to cause chaos in your life. They were trying to use this King of Cups in reverse to cause chaos in your life so that way they can they can make money off you or sacrifice you or something like that. What's Queen of Souls reverse? It's the Pentacles reverse. Y'all hoes really got some fucking nerve. Yeah, seven of pentacles. Then they sitting there waiting patiently for some shit. <laughs> and they're not getting it. <clears throat> I guess somebody thought you was weak, Aries. They thought you was weak as fuck. <laughs> or this person here really thought that they was going to be able to cause chaos in your life. And to have you all twisted and fucked up in the head and going crazy. So to the point where you would probably want to kill yourself off so they can just, what, take your spot? Bitch, you wouldn't even know what to do in somebody's shoes for a damn minute and a millisecond. It's like somebody is weak as fuck. They can't even fucking take a bit of gossip. They try to run. But this Queen of Swords is giving somebody bad advice about something and it caused somebody to miss an opportunity. Somebody gave someone bad advice to go to join a group or... Okay. They they lost. That's all that matters. <clears throat> so seven of pentacles is what? Somebody being patient or waiting on something or there's something here that you're investing into that's growing or is being nurtured. This could be self-evaluation, looking into something. What's the seven of pentacles? Making plans. Somebody here got plans. Okay, nine of swords reverse. What's seven of pentacles, nine of swords reverse? Okay, the high priestess, period. Yeah, somebody trying to make you lose your mind or stop you from being a high priestess and speaking up against this fucked up injustice. And you're going to keep talking about it? This bitch keep on trying it. You're not going to get nothing from this person. This person is not going to fucking leave their platform or wherever the fuck they doing readings at or whatever they're doing to satisfy you weird pussy ass clown ass hoes that's doing everything behind the scenes. Nobody is thinking about you bitches. Move the fuck on with your life. It's that's your best bet. <laughs> it's to move on. <sighs> so this is you listening to your intuition. I feel like this is you seeing that there's a light at the end of the tunnel here, and it is. You're no longer nervous or stressed out or whatever these bitches are trying to make you feel like intuitively or in your head. They're trying to have you all in your head about some shit, or they could be trying to block your intuition like it's just dumb shit or trying to block your path in general they want you to feel so nervous or anxious or scared that you just back off or something or back away it's like bitch i bet you'd be y'all would be the first motherfuckers to scurry off when god start whooping that ass you, you better leave this high priestess alone <laughs> i don't know why this bitch over here in competition with you it's like ridiculous somebody here wants fame it's like bitch you are getting ready to be known all right <laughs> you get ready to be known, all right. You sure are. You want fame? Here it is. You got it. What's the nine pentacles? Because if you want fame this way, or you want to be in somebody else's spot because you're jealous and you want their fortune and their destiny, you're not getting that, boo boo the fucking fool. You're definitely not. You're going to get famous for somebody cursing your ass the fuck out in these tarot readings <laughs> or whatever this high priestess is doing. You're going to get called out for your bullshit. That's the only way you bitches are going to have any kind of fame around here. That's all you bitches gonna be known for. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Being fucking weirdos. The tower in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you freed yourself 
from something here. Something could have went left or you averted a tower. You averted something. What's the Nine of Pentacles with the tower reverse? I feel like something was inevitable too. Something, yeah, you, you freed yourself from this emperor in the reverse. You're not scared of this weak ass narcissist. Somebody here that's a fucking pussy. That's scared of every motherfucking thing. They're trying to make you scared. Like, please. <laughs> Actually, be for real. This was all part of the plan. <laughs> and this bitch thought she was going to fucking use this emperor in reverse to get something from you. I don't think so. <laughs> Somebody mama was in on this too, judging you, saying nasty shit about you. This could be this bitch ass, loser ass, punk, <laughs> punk ass, funky ass, masculine's mother over here. That's a part of a cult or a coven or some sort of government entity or whatever the fuck this is. But this bitch thinks she got that much power for her weak fucking ass. Y'all yeah, hoes really got some fucking nerve. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune and the damn Four of Wands. <laughs> What's the Seven of Swords reverse judgment reverse? The Page of Cups. What's Seven of Swords reverse judgment reverse? The King of Swords. So I feel like you're getting some sort of good news here or... This page of cups is like uh, self-expression or some sort of creative expression here. This could be a romantic gesture, a romantic offer from this king of swords. You do got the king to the queen of swords. This could be too, just be careful because this could be some sort of, um, so this could be what this magic is doing here. Somebody is, um, this could be a relationship here that you've been idolizing. The Judgment Reverse and the Seven of Swords Reverse. Whoever this King of Swords is, is running away from their consequences. So I feel like you got two energies here. Or these people could all be in one group. But you got two energies here that are just distractions. Whatever this is, is a distraction. And you're alchemizing the energy. Somebody's doing magic to cause certain distractions here. It's like they're doing something where... um It's like they're possessing anybody that's been close to you or anybody... That has some sort of energetic cord that's close to you to distract you or to stop you from being in this union. It's some sort of magic that somebody is fucking doing. Some illusion magic or whatever this dumb shit is. What's this? Who this King of Swords? Because I feel like, you know, yeah, the Four of Pentacles, somebody here that's holding back. This person is very cold, very aloof. They're very aloof here. And whoever this King of Wands is, this warlock, that's the person that's in this group with this Queen of Swords in reverse. that's trying to do some sort of magic on you or they all could be in a group who knows who gives a fuck really <laughs> to be honest what's the four what's the king of swords here with the four so four pentacles the knight of wands exactly yeah whoever this king of swords right here is that's that's not it they're, they're not the one let's see what's the page of cups <laughs> Somebody has a lack of self-awareness. They're indecisive. They keep on repeating karmic lessons. And I'm just getting that they're running from something. They're just a runner. So what's the page of cups? Yeah, the two of swords. Somebody here that's um closed off emotionally. Somebody here could want to call a truce or make up with you or give you some sort of offer. These, these motherfuckers could all be in this cult. They all got different kind of gifts that they use to try to keep you hung up or fucked up. Or whatever this is, man. I, I don't trust nobody on this board right now. At all. I feel like they're all losers. Really. What's the Page of Cups with the Two of Swords? Now, for some of you, this King of Swords could be your person. And this, um... The Four of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, somebody that's still holding on to you. But I feel like that's them right there, though, to be honest. Somebody's very insecure and they're weak as fuck. They don't know which way they want to go. Somebody has a closed heart chakra. They don't know what they want. They're very indecisive, but they try to come in all innocent or whatever. I feel like this is just a dreamy connection between you and somebody. It's like it has potential, but it never goes nowhere with that page of cups. It's like you idolize it. It sounds nice, but it's not going nowhere. So I wouldn't trust it. And that's what this magic is supposed to be for, I guess. 
to try to cause you to make the wrong decision and 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 not grow or not expand with this king of pentacles and that's i feel like that's who you're supposed to be with you is not supposed to be with no king of swords queen of swords that's a cold ass relationship why would you want that and they are knight of wands they're in and out they're back and forth like please be for real no we see the we see the plot the scheme we get it you bitches are not low and you're not fucking that smart be for real <laughs> you're not you're not <sighs> okay so this is your reading aries i hope this reading gave you clarity like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings and i will talk to you guys later bye